Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David and we're here to talk about Star Wars. Hey, all right, you probably can see that I have moved. I have moved out of my recording studio and moved to some place that's a little bit more Star Wars-y. That's, that's the feeling, right? Do something a little bit more Star Wars-y. And today I thought what we'd do is we'd start looking at some of the Legends fiction novels. Now, I have added some new ones to the list, like uh, I, I added I Jedi, and I added some of the Bounty Hunter series books as well. I found a couple of extra books that I could throw into the Legend series that we're gonna do for review. I've decided to review all those old Legends books and just kind of look at them with a modern eye. Because some people have said, well, why did they make these new movies with new scripts? We already had plenty of old stories in the Legends books that we could have turned into a movie. Well, I'm going to read these books and then tell you whether I think they would have made a good Star Wars movie. And today we're starting with the very first book in the series, The Truce at Bakura from Kathy Tires. All right, this book came out in 1993. This book was one of the first published in the early 90s revival of Star Wars literature. So this comes before the dark new Jedi Order books, before the prequel films, before the Clone Wars, before the Old Republic Sith historical material. And it was nice to hopefully kind of, you know, pick up where Return of the Jedi left off. So this book takes place a few hours after the events of Return of the Jedi. Luke is recovering from his fight with Palpatine. Leia is struggling to accept the fact that Darth Vader is her dad. And most of the Empire doesn't even know at this point in the book or in the series that the Emperor is actually dead. So the main plot of the book is Bakura, or Bakura, I don't know, is an Imperial outpost. And they're kind of on the edges of the universe and they're kind of outgunned. And there's this alien invasion force coming. And so they recognize that they're outgunned and they agree to join forces with the rebels, hence the truce at Bakura. And uh, the two forces team together to combat this alien invasion. Luke meets a young senator to whom he feels an attraction with, and she also feels something back, but she has to kind of fight her religious beliefs to fall for him. Leia's dealing with the fact that she's the daughter of Darth Vader, and Darth Vader kind of appears as a blue force ghost a few times to ask for her forgiveness. All right, so what did I think? Uh, I like Star Wars, you know, and I like all the characters, but uh, I just really didn't like this book. I was excited about jumping in to read these books, but because this was my first, you know, dip into the water, I was not impressed. This, I, I was like, man, if the rest of the books are like this, uh, this experiment is gonna suck. Cause this was not, this was not a fun book to read. And I think what made it not fun to read was the book was just boring as far as plots go. I mean, come on, the title is The Truce at Bakura. Like, what's so exciting about a truce, right? And the other part of the story was, and this was really weird, was killing people and then putting their souls into battle droids. And don't get me wrong, I mean, Kathy Tires writes well, she does write well, and, you know, that, that part was fine. But I think when, when some authors try too hard with Star Wars names, and, you know, they make them really weird, or they make them too similar, then as the reader, if you can't picture what they look like, it's hard to follow who they are in the book. I mean, she has characters, I had to write them down, uh, Sri Runk and Sri Fruit and Fira Rearwing and Manchisco and Sir Suryuvi. And even though there is a space battle or two, it just feels like not a whole lot actually happens. The only thing that's really kind of interesting is that Leia's wrestling with the fact that she's the daughter of Darth Vader, the guy who <clears throat> tortured her in A New Hope. But, you know, outside of those short scenes, it's really a completely unremarkable book. To put it quite simply, this is one of the worst Star Wars books I've ever read. The plot took so long to develop. The storytelling did nothing to motivate me in any way to like the book. And the only reason I finished it was because I kept hoping it was going to get better and it didn't. So unless you're trying to read every single Star Wars novel, like I am, I couldn't recommend this book. All right, so a couple questions. One, would I make this book into a Star Wars movie? No, pretty much answered that, right? No, 
I would not make this into a Star Wars movie. Second, uh, is this book canon? You know, they have said that all the Legends books, they're no longer canon, but is there anything in this book that would keep it from being canon? Uh, I couldn't find anything. I think for the most part, the story and the way it plays out, I mean, sure, this could have been what happened after Return of the Jedi. There's nothing in this that conflicts with any of the new movies. So, Truce at Bakura could still be canon. All right, so that's my book review for The Truce at Bakura. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Did you read it? Did you like it? Tell me what you thought in the comment section below. And out of all the Legends books, tell me which books you think are the best. And hopefully I'll look forward to those. Thanks everybody for watching. May the Force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.